Mayor Char Charlene DeWitt called the meeting to order at 7 p.m. Council members present were Terry DeWitt, Kenny Arnold, and Kim Stanley. Tito and Caroline were also present. Guests attending were LaDonna, Patty, Patty, Katie Black. Charlene read the minutes of the previous meeting. Charlene asked if there were any questions. Terry made a motion to accept the minutes as read. Kim seconded the motion, passed three to zero. The council went over the bills for the month. Kim made a motion to pay the bills, and Kenny seconded the motion, passed three to zero. Charlene turned the floor over to the LaDonna. She is here to tell us about the post block grant of $60,000, the PR. CF Spring Grant. She felt that this would be a good grant to get our parks and playgrounds and equipment improved. LaDonna said she would help to find out what the people in the community felt was needed. The council was to set a date. New business. The burn site inspection. We received a letter from the state that had inspected our site and felt that we were in compliance with the state. Lincoln County Appraisers Office, we had received our taxes on our property to city owned. Old business, speed bump, was tabled to a later date. Beverly City, citywide cleanup day. The council discussed the volunteers that we had. Dennis Ray from West Hall offered to help any way he could. Sarah and Mike Rosebrook offered the Sunday school to help. We also had some high school kids from Lincoln to help. The tire pickup was going to cost us $165 a ton. The council talked about just posting the, postponing the cleanup day because of the forecast of the rain for the week of it. Shane Klein offered his dumpster to the city. City clerk's report. Caroline said that she had sent a letter out to Sean Kine about his property and the need to finish cleaning it up. Caroline told the council that she had asked the sheriff and Jennifer to join us at our next meeting. Uh, she asked about a new computer or Wi-Fi, but the council couldn't see the reason for it. Asked for a bulletin board for the outside. The council paid <coughs> for her to purchase one. Penny Griffin agreed to make pizzas for us on the cleanup day and discuss price later. Caroline said that she would put a letter in the next water bill on, on the cleanup day. <coughs> Caroline told the council that the cost of the audit for, had gone up to $4,500. 4, council said that we didn't have much of a choice on the price and to pay it. City maintenance council told Pedro to get, to get a new cover offer and put it on the Colorado. Terry asked Pedro about sewer pumps and told him to check out the prices. Announced us the next Council meeting will be June 4th, 2018. Any questions or corrections?
Oh, just because I knew she was going to be here. Oh, all right. Okay. Oh. If 
What's this? Report on this side, Carol. I've been working on this. Oh, yeah, I've been working on this. But, okay, for the, the cleanup grant, the report that goes back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've been working on that. Okay, kind of just wanted to make sure that if you needed anything for that or that yeah. you guys were okay with that. All right. Uh, 
0.2 is your low point. I don't like that because it doesn't kill anything. Yeah. I, I, it, I want it over a 0 0.5, maybe to a 1. And because uh, 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 we run in, especially as it gets warmer, that cooks the chlorine out of the tower when you're storing it. So you get wet weather and people aren't using as much water, that's when you're going to lose your chlorine the fastest. Chlorine doesn't exist in nature by itself. Yeah. It was invented shortly after <coughs> around World War I, a German scientist figured out how to basically arc weld rock salt and separate the sodium from the chlorine and then use it for a <coughs> periodic table before then, but nobody knew how to, to get at it yeah. in quantity, but now we're forced, it's, it, it oxidizes the biologic material, and uh, uh, basically it doesn't last very long, uh, if you threw it out here, it's, you know, it would last for a while, but eventually it has to combine with something else, it oxidizes. And I don't know what to say about the taste and odor. If, if you try to lower it and juggle it around and get it lower. And it's usually not so much taste because we don't drink water. Never have. You know, it's just reaction eat real bad. You know, and I don't know, I've never heard there's a few people that drink it. But I think a large majority of the town is all bottled water. I, I can't remember. Did your hardness go down with the water up on the hill? Or was it? I think it did. Yeah, I, I think the heart, yeah, it, it got better, the heart was good, and then yeah, the manganese. Manganese? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I drink mine, but I have a water softener, but I drink mine, I don't know. Yeah, see, now you're adding sodium to your intake, too. That's the bad thing about softening. Uh, the, the water here passes all the state requirements to be drinkable, yeah. or what they call potable. And, uh, uh, I know I drink my water at Dorns, it's over 550, and that's very hard. And I have calcium plus magnesium, and iron and calcium seem to be the two minerals that are the highest. And uh, I have a coffee maker, and I like my coffee, and I don't use the water <laughs> yet because it will destroy the coffee maker. So I buy bottled water, but I drink the, I drink the, the tap water when I make everything else. Yeah. Yeah, we'll cook, we'll cook with the tap water. But I don't know people that are chlorine sensitive, especially with their skin, sometimes they can draw a bath. I'd rather take a shower, it's more conservative. But you put your soap in there and, and that chlorine starts getting made up with, or used up by the soap itself. Yeah. That would help. There's nobody in our house that doesn't really have any kind of reaction to it. You just smell it. Yeah. You know, I know if you're on post and you're close to the, the plant, they actually over chlorinate. Uh, it sits up sometimes. But if they don't do that, they can't get it all the way out to Ellis County. Yeah. And when it hits me, it's around 2 0. And I know it like the plant at 6 0. And I'm just inside the Russell County line, and it's already dropped. More than half. Yeah. And they use chloramine, which their low residual is 1.0 because it's less effective than free. It lasts longer, but it's less effective. So the minimum on that, on the last half, hardest in, last used water, is 1.0. So that's using regular Clorox is the best. Our system in. Well, it's free. There's three versions of free. There's gas, sodium hypochlorite, which is your liquid bleach, mm -hmm. and calcium hypochlorite. Those are all 
two years of experience this year, and in the beginning, I remember like lions, they used to have a drip system that drifted into the well. Well, those are illegal now. And uh, they just had a container that they poured with sodium hydrochloride, and then they had a needle valve, and they drip it in the well. Mm -hmm. And the well run 24 hours a day. And then they had other wells that would kick on and off to maintain their upper level. The other bad thing it is in hot weather, wet weather, is where you've got a standpipe water system that you have to maintain the full height of it because if you let it get any lower, everybody up here gets low pressure. If you had a pedestal type, all your water was up high, uh, then you could uh, set your on and off points farther apart and then use all that water and then refresh it with new water and it would come back through the distribution system to do that and you could lower your chlorine residual maybe to a 1.2, 1.3 and but the way you're, you're set up, I would be scared to go or change too much from that 2.2. 2 .2. would be a good number to shoot for. I don't know what it is at the well most of the time. Do you know what that is? Is it right up to 2.5? Yeah. You can probably lower that a little bit. That is lower, and they call me, Marsha called me and said, we got to turn it up. So oh, okay. Marsha is the KDHE district uh, overseer of water and, and wastewater, and, and we got to make her happy. So yeah. if it's 2.5, it's 2.5. Now, is there any kind of regulations on how often these water towers have to be cleaned? Uh, vaguely, no. Okay. But three years has been, uh, she'll possibly issue, if she looks at the outside and sees that something scares her, she might give you 60 days. Uh, I got a, uh, I'm just on the Hayes district. Uh, Norbert wrote me up about 15 years ago and he wanted uh, an inspection. And when they do the inspection, the, the company that does them is supposed to send them the pictures and you the pictures, so you can't lie to them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if I remember right, the last time they cleaned it up, it was uh, when they put some new water on it. Yeah, I was going to say just a couple of years ago or so. Yeah, 2015, they cleaned it for the well. Yeah. 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 And you got pictures, and there was no flags, warning flags. See, I got warning flags like my man weighs 18 inches. That has to be 24. And uh, we had to have an overflow from the top down to grade. That was done. But my man weighed. Uh, I haven't completed that, and they don't like the breather on top. The breather on top has worked for 80 years, 90 years, but they come up with it. It's possible that those can freeze, and they want that changed to a different style that's harder to freeze, because theoretically, if it froze and you had a fire and you started pulling water, it could collapse the whole water tower and yeah. get out of business. Yeah, we could have ran into that this year when we it wasn't shutting off right. Yeah. And then the, the overflow, it was bitter cold and, and it froze. So some of it came out of that breeze. Okay. And and it was cold oh, enough. Yeah. It was oh, cold enough goodness. at that time that you know I had, I had five towers that five systems called me this winter because their tower had frozen the neck or someplace and they were isolated from their water tower. Now, our is it kind of comes out, I think it's sitting like at a 45 or at a 33 degree angle. Now, when that thing overflows, it did quite a bit there. We have problems with the pump. But that a couple times during the winter, it'll cover the trees, the transformer, and the backside of the residence house up there with ice. Are we supposed to have some sort of a down pipe? You're supposed to come down a three foot grade with a pipe, with a, a uh, what they call a plug screen. And a lot of that is when they overflow it, and the, the KDHE technicians here, they want a place to go over there and look at it. That's the main reason. 
The other reason would be just like what you described, if you take the power out. Yeah. Yeah. Is that something you can use this information on what needs to be done with that, or the correct way to put one of those on there? Or? Uh, your tire company that did the inspection, who was they? Who did the what? The yeah. tower inspection. inspection. Was it just an inspection company or a tower company? I honestly don't know. I'd have to look at the papers. I wasn't here when it happened. Yeah, I, I hired uh, McGuire Iron, and then they, they come up with the list, and uh, it's a, I got a checkoff list. That way I can budget it in. And uh, uh, we got that, uh, I think, nine years to overflow pipe because that was specifically put in a letter that we got from our inspection, water inspection. He wanted to see that. Other than that, he taught me years ago that he can go in parts of the town with binoculars and he can see the top of the tower and tell me what style of hatch or if the breathers. Uh, I don't know if Marsha does that. I haven't asked her. I, I know there's a whole book, a whole deal with all kinds of information in it for when they clean it. Okay. Yeah, I know we put the new uh, wells in. They did discuss and thought it was going to be part of the upgrade or whatever. We, we had to come up with 5,000 at the time for the, the down pipe. Can it be like plastic? <coughs> we got metal coming out. Yeah. Can uh, you attach on to it with like PV? Yeah, you can turn it all the time. I don't know. Uh, I went ahead and I'm too fat and old to climb up there and do the work myself. And besides that, uh, went on, if it gets too specific, they want a licensed power company that's licensed to pay. Matter of fact, if you do any, I wanted to change it for repair or replace a hatch, and I thought I could make it myself years ago. And Topeka made a good engineer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, it, you can only go so far on that. Yeah. Yeah. But like your downspout there, is it, what, what material was it made of? Steel. Steel, okay. And then how far down the tower? Uh, my tower, the top of it's 128, and I went all the way to three foot down, so I okay. had 127 or five feet of pipe. I had the start of it. On top of that, it's kind of redundant because I got gaps all around the, the edge of the roof, so there's no way uh, I'm probably going to have a collapsed tower. It's going to allow air in if I did have a sudden drop of water pressure. That water, uh, it, it can uh, it can destroy a tower. It can give you a black eye, like I got this morning when I had 250 psi meter lid blow off and hit me in the head. And, uh, but, uh, and it can break your water mains. You know, if you move, stop the water. The water yeah. hammer has a lot of power. Anybody have any questions for you? On the back of last month's city bill, they said the water samples was from 2015. Said what? On the back of the water bill, it said the water samples on the test, it said from 2015. Oh, that sample thing? Yes. How often are you supposed to check it? Well, actually, didn't the front part say 2000? And 16? The results said 2015. I still have mine at home. 2016? 15. 15? But it was weird because, like, uh, part of the part of the results, the very top part says 2015. Then as you move down, it says, like, 2017 to 2019. And then another part. It's, like, very confusing to read. Did you bring the cop card with it? I did not, and I totally meant to, and I'm so sorry. Greg, some of that is real. I, I don't like the way they make it. If EPA dictates to them, then they dictate to us. And some of their wording is, is uh, their lab jargon or whatever. But uh, uh, there's several samples. You've got at least two bacteriological every month, and then you have analytics. They're at the well. Sometimes they're in the distribution system. Topeka sends those out. Are you talking about a CCR report? Yeah. 
one they send out that we have to send out to the public. Oh, okay. And they they say that it comes from Topeka. We have no control over what you know. But I thought it said 2007, not 16, 16, 17 on. Yeah, yeah. And this month's bills, the individual services KDHD just did. That'd be water test, right? Yeah. Uh, Guido has to perform all of those. Do you have one? They I do not. Compile those. Sure uh, there are some systems that use like Aladdin and because they can't get them to keep them on time, especially with the uh, effluent of wastewater. But other than that, most of those things are probably, I'm guessing, the uh, KDHE lab. Because you don't have to use the KDHE lab. It usually costs more to use the private lab. <coughs> you, you, you aren't bound to using their methods or their, you have to use a certified lab that they certify for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your nitrate probably probably stayed down lower where the, the farming activity was more prevalent. The thing about nitrate, they lowered it to 10 parts per billion. And when it was at 20 parts per billion, uh, it was calculated uh, to get a, a dose of nitrate from 20 parts per billion. And if you ate a, a bowl of like green broccoli soup, you'd have to drink 2,500 gallons of water to match the dose you got from the soup. Nitrate gets in your blood, it binds to the blood cells, and it blocks oxygen intake. Yeah. <coughs> the blue babies. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the water's a lot better, but the, the volume is horrible than the water. And one of them is not dry. Yeah, like one of them pumped dry or mud or whatever. Well, was that a whole different source when we moved up? I was thinking that was supposed to be the code. I think you're right. But so it's there like 150 feet or something like that versus 40 feet down here? I, I know it's all consistent. I don't know if they're 150. I thought they were about 120. But uh, that might be a little bit of water still. The, the, vol or the volume between the three pumps are about 20. And then one is about four. And it it sucked dry or something happened to it. But then the electricity go off up there, Gito, at one time and it, it started pumping lead yeah. or something. Yep. Yeah. And we tried to do that every fifty miles home. Yeah, it was a dry summer last year. Yeah. Well this was this uh last fall. If you're in a good Dakota water, uh, it's hard to judge it by what the weather's done or the drought. It's similar to the Ovala, but even more isolated because it's deeper. And uh, it sounds like that you're still in the loop. I, I think they want to get the one point. Because that's quite a bit higher up here than down here. And that, that, that still same stream yeah. basically. Part of the old river system of the Saline. Yeah. Huh? Oh, Charlie. Charlie. 
Because they did press cut only twice a year. They don't do their test twice a year, really. But we, we, have, we especially have two on the south end for the test. Yeah, they use paper one well, it turns red. It's not perfect
licensed for sewer operations. I don't know if you heard of both of them. And that's a long time ago. Yeah. And uh, you've done it all. Oh, yeah. And we come back. At the time of that, I had done it for $50 a month because the city was poor. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't get paid all that darn stuff. It's very good cheap. And everybody <laughs> in here, if anybody in here is putting in any more hours of public service in this town, I'd like them to speak right now. Yeah, I, don't think I put in thousands and thousands of hours. I bet you did. For no pain. And I'm glad to do it. I, I'm not physically from 87 years old. I'm not physically from the oldest survivor in town. I don't know if that's good or bad, because I've done it for a while. So I don't know. <laughs> And it didn't kill you, did it? No, no. 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 That's the bad thing about water, it's geographics. Yeah. And it's where you're at. Uh, you know, I know there's a few places that they, they, their alluvial was all they had. It became uh, irradiated with radon or it, uh, uh, arsenic in a few places, and they had to move it and uh, go get something else. Or they had to put in an iron removal plant, which knocks down the yeah, water. Yeah, yeah. But we, uh, in later years, uh, I remember one well, as it aged, um, we added a second well, which everybody's familiar with what it is. We don't consider now. And it eventually was much better, but it got low waters <coughs> all the time. And then we had a new digger come along. Uh, she got along, she's going to. We a third well that's set down here by the river. And it has a tremendous amount of water in it, but it's as red as iced tea. And there's a whole pool before it was drilled, of what it was going to be. And I, said, I carried the patient and made a lot of enemies to try to get that well someplace else. We got a grant for it to go along. And somebody said, well, that's river water. It is not river water because the <coughs> river down here is salt. If you don't believe it, you're out of it. And that water down there in well number three is not solid. It is it can draw glass out of the red ice. Now, all these blues, the Solomon of the Rivers are just as bad. They're all hard. The, the iron manganese has been concentrated. As well, they've done the water grid. They've been put someplace else. We all know. Yeah. No comment. Thank goodness no people participate in that whole day. Tornado 
that took out Betty to what three, four years ago? Was that four years ago when we lost power for three days? It was like shortly after I moved to Beverly. It was when uh, the tornado took out the pig farm at Bennington. Oh, yeah, it hit the substation. Bennington was okay, but they just they just got a generator on line at the time. They went through the the state and got a, a surplus one. It breaks down and doesn't work every time, but there was enough to maintain themselves. You get get water and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. That, <coughs> She, Ella Donna said, did you hear about what, um, that we could probably get one from Dave for emergency management? Yeah, they usually get a list, emergency management gets a list that they can pull from. But there again, if it's a major area-wide disaster, you're not going to get one most likely, if you're lucky. Well, that gets back to with the city and emergency management when we lose power like that and stuff. We need to be notifying people yeah. to conserve water. Yes. And, you know, it's like a grain field. Uh, uh, we we couldn't get a 208 generator that runs the lift station, but they went ahead and put the 240 generator to let the water tower. I do have one thing. I did notice in front of my house, and I know it's just from settling and all that fun stuff. Uh, that's where the water line went across the road. Yeah, it's going. It's going. Yeah. Oh, I hear. I hear. It, I hear. It, it, it is. I hear. It's last night, mm -hmm. and I thought I heard some fresh shots on the driveway. It's even bad. bad. We did. The same thing on Harper Street, just from right. the water the other day. Now runs a culvert across the road. To so the that's why. We're going to have to right in front of it. We've got a lot of rain in the water. 
Who is the first time? Victor Washout. We can't just leave your cover every time. Everybody else needs to buy anything else, can't they? Yeah. Yeah. We can't just fix one cover, we've got to fix them all on this year. Yeah. 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 Isn't it common courtesy though that you should notify the homeowners? You're gonna go on up to this property. Yeah.
Misconception here, you know, this is nothing against you. It's just knowing, like, you're only one man. You can't do everything. Exactly. So it's just right. adding six, a second six, person. Six hours a day, what do you expect? Six hours a day. Exactly. So that's why we're saying add a second person, and that way you could be doing one thing. This other guy could be doing another thing. You're getting two things done at once, rather than. So it's absolutely no offense towards you. We Yeah, yeah. we've been trying to do that. You guys, we also the planes that were turned up the grass. 
rather than the city using it. Like the city does it right. The city has a right way. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
passes out of the ditches and goes straight down down the street and then it jumps back in eventually. Like in front of uh, Blair, that was that was there will fill up the water for the ditches. Yeah, there's yeah, no, no, no ditches. Right? There's no ditches. It runs down my driveway. It fills my garage. Yeah. Okay, we'll give it to the county commissioners or, or the county guy. Michael. You know, we'll get somebody over here so we can get, at least get started. It, it'd be nice for me, you know, the county could also maybe somebody like the water or something. So, you know, a dirt person. Oh, mm -hmm. You know, that. There's tons and tons of dirt that needs to be moved. Yes. I mean, there's enough gravel. Thank you. 
you and my cat, we're going to have problems. We already got people running them over. We don't have to have people. Yeah, have exactly. I got chickens, but they're inside the cage. They're going to get out. Let me have a dog pound to the city. It says this letter to inform you that the dog pound has reopened. What year is that? Just this year. This year? Yeah, yeah first, yeah, first, yeah. first day open. They opened. They were closed for a while. Now they're open. Then you have some? Mm-hmm. So it's a kind of... No, no, it's So we call the city? Yes, yeah, you call the city and we pick them up and pick them up. They charge the city for it. It's after hours, what do you do? Want me to call you? Yeah, they can call me. Call Caroline. Because we always have people's dogs in our yards. Huh. Um, then you listen to the park. I wrote a second one. That's right there.
we can't really decide. I mean, they might give us a choice on what we want to do with them, whether we want to do what their suggestion is that each set of parents pay for half of the cost of replacing the swing and stuff, and then banning them from the park. But uh, I don't know. Will that do any good? You know, in the last three years, we've lost our entire park. Yeah. We literally have lost the only stuff that's still standing is the stuff that's been uh -huh. there for 70 to 100 years. And the same people are somewhat involved at, at every point. We finally get pictures and stuff of somebody tearing that park up. And you know, yeah, Gito can fix that, but you know what? If that ain't fixed right, there, there's a uh, manufacturer on there right there. Sure. The, yeah, and if somebody gets injured on that swing set that Gito fixed, the city's responsible. And, and I don't understand why, the, well, it's living in Lincoln County, I do understand why the sheriff in the county attorney is dragging their feet on. They, they should be after this kid fully because, first of all, he destroyed a swing set that's $5,000. Yeah, there's damage to it and stuff, but you, you still have that cost out of your pocket. Sure. And, and, well, yeah, and, and then you've got, uh, I don't understand why they would not be charged in misdemeanor or felony, making them through the courts pay restitution. And, they, and, they may still. and and then also you get a restraining order on these people and keeping them off the of city property because they do go up to the city water tower and do damage up there. And uh, but yeah, just, just the idea that, that a deputy would recommend that you get these people to pay for it and just ban them from the park. Well, to ban it from the park, you're going to have to hire an attorney. To, Somebody has to watch it all the time. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, you're going to have to hire an attorney to go after it. The parents would have to be done civilly, not legally. If the courts order all of this, then it ain't costing the city anything. Right. But if we have to go after the parents as the city, then we've got to hire an attorney to do that. I think the judicial system should take care of the whole thing. And we should, the city should be asking them to do that and press them that because, like I say, we've got no park. Yeah, that one of the only things we have in this town is a park, and we've got nothing. Yeah, we need to get, like, the stuff that's made out of the picnic tables, that heavy-duty stuff, you know. That, that's the other thing. There's no picnic tables left up there. The, the outside ones are, but the ones that the five or six under, underneath the shelter. There was five out. or six yeah, underneath the shelter. So there's there's part of that the grant that we're getting for park equipment and the painting and all that. So maybe if we get enough that we can replace those two. But those park but if the people that are damaging it aren't held responsible, right? Right. What, but we don't know. But, you turn, but they turned it over to the um, county attorney, so now we have to wait, right? Well, there you go. But we, we have to face the fresh charges. Well, if that's what we already said we were going to do, that's probably why you turned it over to the county attorney. So now if there's nothing we can do, they'll just have to wait and see what she will do. Okay. Unless we already said. I didn't know if you filed the official report or not. Mm -hmm. Did you talk to him, Randy? Who? We filed, a, we, we filed an official report, did we not? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. One of the things that you could do, if you know who it is, have them do a community service like they can clean mm -hmm. up the culverts. Pull all the weeds and stuff along here. And we've thought of that too. And it's yeah. part of their but, punishment. But the only way we can make them do community service is if they are charged to the court that's, and that's yeah. part of their punishment. So if that's the, yeah, we've, we've thought of that. We've got some ugly stuff that can do. <laughs> yeah, they need to. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Um, that swing set that was down there, was that just a wooden swing set? Or was yeah. it? So yeah. was, yeah. was it maintained?
twice a year, even if we don't get a grant, you know, like, like a container bigger than what he brought. But if, if I couldn't advertise, I know the little town of Manchester does it. Once in the spring and once in the fall, they'll bring in dumpsters and, and they'll let, they'll either pile it or let the city man load it or they'll load it themselves. And it costs them maybe three to four hundred dollars each, each season. But I tell you what, it's full all the time. And, and they run it for a week and, and they run it twice a year. And that just kind of gives people an opportunity that, and then if it's just something to think about. Yeah. And then people are after the winter after winter? Yeah. Or, yeah, or, or even once a year. You know, if we don't have a grant, it's not a ton of money out of the city pocket. And it definitely costs a Then you have to wait for a big grant or something. Yeah. Yeah. I just got a little question on that. That little deal down there, um, if you're a, a law or anything, Burning old wood and stuff down there. <coughs> yes, there is. is there, I didn't know, but. Yeah, there's. Yeah, there's. The only thing that's supposed to be down there is branches. Lynn has turned into wood, you know what I mean? But it's, it's got glues and stuff in it. You know, yeah. if, if all of a sudden you're burning yeah. plywood and stuff. Right, you're right. I just, yeah, but the, the state just regulated that it in the lint pile. I swing a rock out into the 
car, windshield. I got hit with it. And so I did here today, down was mowing. I come up down Crawford Street, and I heard this heck of a commotion. This kid was mowing grass. Bang! But I mean, but, you know, I understand. Um, grants for the park? Oh, I, grants in for the park. Uh, we've asked for enough money for some new equipment, uh, reseeding and spraying the park and stuff, and we also asked for uh, money to help work with a, a uh, coal, coal and felt closer. Yeah, that's a different one. Yeah, and also to replace some of the sidewalks in the city. So we have several seniors that walk it. I um, probably would have more. Yeah. Like this one. Yeah. We're talking about this one and the one on the other side. Yeah, we're talking about the ones around Main Street and and reinforced down by the park and stuff. But we have several seniors that walk, and I'm sure that if they had a nicer sidewalk to walk on, instead of them always walking in the streets, because their sidewalks aren't safe to walk on, they'd appreciate it. So we ask what we get. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But the main, main part right now is for the park. And most of what I've put the bids in is all metal, no wood of any kind. I need to see also uh, right side of my house where uh, James cut down that tree and piled all those big logs on the sidewalk. There is a sidewalk there, but I've cleaned it off. Uh, There's a sidewalk where? Same boat. Things are kind of tight this, this month. Property taxes.
the north central one, the one we got the letters on, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, they will come into the city. In fact, I think they're supposed to be coming uh, in here. Yeah, but still, still. But yeah, still almost the same thing. We have a better chance to get more grants, no matter what they're for, if we try again. Okay, uh, Jennifer and the sheriff was unable to make it tonight. Jennifer had other commitments, and the sheriff said he wasn't coming without Jennifer. She wants to reschedule, and she does not want to wait until June. Next what? Week. She wants to set up a date. I quit. Input on it. 
I will call and see what I can find out. From Charles? From Gita? From the <laughs> I, I don't. Well, let's see if Charles can come look at it. Okay. If it's not important and it's going to be one of them, we can go out any time. We can't wait. Yeah, you don't want yeah, you Explain to him. Yes. Is most of the, the pump stuff and everything in pretty good shape now? Or uh, no. No. Uh, that's it's what it's about. It, it's been manually operated. We haven't had a care of it for years. Well, see, I, I do know. Yes. Yeah, I need the motor and I think the float switch that kicks it on and off.
Because that's the thing. We get around.